Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Joe White from Get Life Coaching, and welcome to another edition of Live Free. So the other day I was at this photo shoot. I was being featured on a cover of a magazine, of a woman's magazine, made about four or five other women, definitely the thorn between the roses, and we're, they're getting their hair and makeup done, and obviously with my current hairstyle, I don't have a lot of hair to get done. So I had this great opportunity to kind of get to know everybody and chat with the women, amazing entrepreneurs, amazing businesswomen. And one woman in particular came up to me and she said, Joe, so great to meet you. I've been reading your articles for years, following your work. I, you know, I've used it in my, my own life. I had amazing results with it. Used it in other people's lives and it has helped so much. And it's so great to meet you. And I felt so touched that someone I've never met, you're able to impact. And we had a great conversation. And she was talking about her business. And she goes, but i got to know one thing. I go, sure. She goes, what do, you think, what do you think are the top reasons that keep people from getting what they want? Because I work with people all the time, and they get they, 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 somewhere between the starting point and the ending point. They fall short. They have a great product, but they fail to bring it to market. Or they become unraveled. Or somewhere in the middle, they just, it just falls apart. What do you think the top reasons are? So I can at least begin to isolate and look for this so I can help my clients. I'm like, wow, what a great question. So I began just kind of spouting out. And I've really identified four key areas, which I think are the, probably the biggest ones, the biggest traps. And I, I shared this with her, and eventually then, actually very, very quickly after I got done, went to my car and started writing it down. So here I am, and I wanted to share this with you. But what I would like to do is share one per week with you. So we get our hands into it, really understand it, but also give you tools and solutions how to make it better. So the first one, and I think this is one of the biggest ones, I keep coming back to this as a top one, the fact that very often what keeps people from getting what they want, they have an uninspired vision. They, they, they're what I call a stater. They just state what they want, but there's no emotional attachment to it. Now we're going to see this coming up in a few months, the New Year's. People say they want to lose weight or get healthy or start a new hobby or start a new career or start their own business or get their financing and investing and all these things get it tied down and get it moving forward. But somewhere between the state, stating of it and the following through of it, it falls short. It stops. And I think sometimes we think that saying it is a vision. But it's not. Because here's the truth. Even when people say, I don't know what my vision is, I don't know what my vision is, we always have an image. I mean, we always have a vision. We always have an internal image of what we want. We may not know of it, we may not know of it, or we may know it and deny it and act like it didn't exist, but we always, always do. So very often, when I work with someone in the area of health, I ask them to close their eyes and they are heavy and they need to lose weight. They're, so they're physically above their weight where they feel comfortable or it was healthy for them. I say close your eyes and picture yourself 40 years from today. And the image in their head is an image where they're still heavy. I know they have an internal vision of what they don't want. And even though they say they don't want it, they're not going to go to what they say. They're going to go to that. It's almost their internal GPS guidance system that they're going to move forward to. They call it sabotage. They call it falling it backwards, off the wagon, whatever you may. But we have this internal vision. If I know that, I got to change that vision, that image, before I'm able to help them in moving them where they want to go. If I don't do that, they're always going to drift back. I saw a study years ago that said 80% of the people who win a lottery or a lotto and within 10 years go back to the same point of their financial wealth and worth as before they won the lottery. Some interesting, other interesting statistics that NFL football players within three years of retirement, 78%. 78% of all NFL football players within three years are broke. NBA, a little bit better. It's like 65%, somewhere in that range, of percent, the percent of NBA players within five years go broke. Why? It's not because they, they're terrible with their money. Some are, yes. But basically, when it comes down to it, they have an internal image. And when we're not living true to that internal image, that internal vision, Okay, what happens is we will gravitate towards it. So in other words, when we, when we get the, what we want, when we get the money, when we get the relationship, when we get the career, when we get the finances, whatever it is, 
it makes us feel uncomfortable because that's not what our vision is telling us to be. So we make bad choices. We sabotage our health, sabotage our eating plan. We stop exercising. We become lazy. We procrastinate. We get caught up in work. We will go on spending sprees, whatever the case may be. So I gave you a lot of examples here. Ultimately, it comes down to one thing. You must create a vision of what you want that inspires you. Someone wrote this down. I'm reading it right here. They said the vision of their life is to live a rich, abundant life so that they may share their gifts with others with joy. They say that with passion. You can feel it. It's not just a statement. It's an emotion tied to that statement. So here are some keys. I'm going to wrap this up for you guys. Anyone will get this long, but this is good stuff. So the first thing you got to do is you have to write it out. Write out the vision that you want. Don't make it long. Make it short. Make it sweet. Make it powerful. Use emotionally charged words. The next thing I suggest that you do, or another option, is to visualize it. No less than 10 minutes a day. And some of the stuff you don't know how to do, contact our offices. It's at, you can contact us at doitnow, D-O-I-T-N-O-W, at getlifecoaching.com. I'm sure it's down here somewhere, right? But just email one of our coaches will respond to you and give, we can send you some sheets to help you help you out in this area. So first thing, create an empowering vision. Write it out with emotionally charged words. If you don't feel it in your gut, if it doesn't make you feel like you want to do something in that moment, you're missing something. It's not powerful enough. The next thing is visualize it. Visualize it 10 minutes a day. See yourself. Become associated. Step into your body. Make it visceral. If you need some help with meditation, we can help you with that too. It's a great way to combine it. How about doing incantation of taking that vision statement that you made, that one-liner, and saying it 10 minutes in a row. Or sorry, 10 minutes in for 10 minutes in a row, just over and over again. Get yourself like a rebounder. You can rebound the small trampolines. You can rebound, and, and that would help to bring that and condition it with inside of you. You can say it when you go out for a run. You can say it when you go out for a walk. Put some music on. Make it stronger. But whatever you do, you must get emotionally attached. You must create a vision that inspires, that wakes your spirit up. If you don't do that, you're going to more or less likely not follow through on it, or you're going to follow through until it becomes difficult, hard, uncomfortable, whatever the case may be, and then you're going to pull back. Or you're going to follow it long enough until the point where the other internal vision, the one that's buried deep in your subconscious, begins to feel violated. And then you're going to hit that moment of sabotage. So that's your first one, create an inspiring vision. This is Joe White from Get Life Coaching. Live free, everybody. Bye-bye.